Oh man. So fuck about a month ago, shit, almost exactly a month ago from when I'm recording this. Uh March twenty sixth it was my birthday. Well we celebrated it on the weekend. So um we went out, we had fun, had dinner, I hung out with my friends. But then after after all of that, we went and saw a movie. Uh, well, for, well, none of the movies I wanted to see, all the hot movies that you guys already know that I was at at the time, we didn't get to see because we got there late. And the movie that I really wanted to see had already just started. So, um, yeah, we saw this very cursed movie called Flowers. No, Flower, excuse me. And when I say this film is cursed, it is fucking cursed. Put the phone down. I'm going to prison, you fucking criminal. Okay, that will never hold up in a court of law. We're not taking you to court. We're just taking your money. <laughs> so those of you that don't know what Flower is, it's a little rebellious film about, oh my, the, the worst demographic in my opinion. Teenagers. Oh, fuck. Uh, it came out, what was this? I don't know when it came out. March, it came out March 2018, I'm assuming. When I first saw the trailer for this film, I was like, okay, this looks interesting. This looks intriguing. It looks good. It looks decent. I forgot about it. I saw that I saw that trailer in 2017. And I forgot about it until I started seeing the movie in 2018. And when, after I saw the movie, I was like, is this the same movie the trailer is for? But yeah, so if you know what the movie is, is um, it's about this rebellious kid or yeah, a kid named Erica Vandross. I don't remember. I guess that's her name. Yeah, Erica Vandross. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, she's 17 and she's a uh, um, she's yeah she's pretty rebellious she's kind of out there and uh, her mom just started dating this man named Bob and they live in Los Angeles and if you're saying that this movie doesn't really have a plot it because it, it doesn't like I'm trying to explain I'm trying to give you guys the rundown from the Wikipedia page but I mean it really doesn't have a plot Bob has a son named Luke who just gets out of a rehab uh, to live with the family they all live together and um yeah things get out of hand from here like the movie it, like things weren't already out of hand the movie starts off with the main character a 17 year old giving a grown man a cop a blowjob so i mean that tells you where this movie is fucking going but yeah this is just gonna be a short review of flower uh, i'm not really gonna try, i'm gonna try my best not to spoil anything but this movie is fucking wild like i'm trying my hardest not to spoil anything so you guys can see it for yourself just know the main character is a dick sucking bandit and her ma her friends are they're just there i guess she has two accomplices they don't really do anything they're there they help her like they appear throughout the film and they kind of yeah they don't really do anything uh i could say the movie is well shot at times um but not really all the time yeah like i said at times uh oh yeah the color grade is terrible it's gonna it's gonna piss you off what well, pissed me and my friend off one of my friends off uh it was really washed out and like orangey i don't i don't really like it, it was like orangey it was like orangey and blue i do not it's just a really bad color grade i don't know why they did that but yeah the movie is wild so her brother gets out of or her stepbrother gets out of rehab and you know of course she doesn't like him because she's a teenager and he's older so you know she's trying to be cool and i'm just gonna drop this right here she tries to suck his dick they go to a bowling alley and she tries to suck him up. Like she straight up tries to suck up her stepbrother. They're straight up. For like, and he was like, "No, what's wrong with you? Your step something." And she's like, "I don't care. I'm a. I, I don't remember what she said. She was like, "I'm a dick sucking wizard." And he was like, "You're a fucking weirdo." And he walked away. He was like, "I just want to go home. This man just want to eat a hot dog or some nachos. Where the fuck they were eating? That's all he wanted to eat." And she trying to. She's out here trying to suck his dick. But yeah, being a dick bat sucking bandit that she is, comes to find out she's sucking dick for a reason. Uh, and that reason I'm not going to say here because I really want you guys to see the movie. But yeah, this dick sucking wizard is a dick sucking wizard for a reason. This superhero has a backstory that's pretty good. It's not really good. It's okay. But yeah, so it starts a plot where, um, yeah, she does that. And also the dude, he was also molested, uh, quote unquote molested. Uh, so that's another plot going on here. There's the plot with it. Okay, there's some cool scenes with the stepdad. He, there's a scene of him just jamming out, playing guitar, bass. I don't remember for no reason. It was a cool scene. I liked it because I like I play instruments myself. All my friends do. So I mean, yeah, that was cool. But yeah, I mean, could should have been in the movie. No, I mean, it served no purpose. I guess it shows that he's a cool rocker dad. I guess and that he's in. The, they later mentioned he's in a band. I think so. I guess that's what that scene was for. But yeah, this movie is is pretty wild. But yeah, <laughs> this movie is it's pretty out there. It's one of the funniest movies I've seen. Unintentionally funny movies. 
that I've seen. It's supposed to be like a, I don't know, I actually, I don't know what this movie is supposed to be, and I feel like a lot of people, I know no one I saw this movie knows what it's supposed to be. We don't really know the plot. Like, it felt like the movie was going somewhere, but then it would go nowhere with that. And like, some scenes were just playing out funny when they were supposed to be. It's just one scene I want to talk about, but you have to see it yourself. And so I'm not going to say anything, but it's, it deals with the brother Luke. And it's hilarious, bro. Like, it's so funny. Like, the entire movie is hilarious, actually. I don't think it's supposed to be funny. I know that it this, the, Okay. So the moments... Because I guess it's a comedy teen drama. A dark comedy. But the moments that's supposed to be funny aren't funny at all. Like, they're funny in a way that is so bad. Like, there's legit people in this theater. One of them wasn't a lot of people in this theater, but... Yeah. But the people that were there, some of them legit were just cracking up at this movie. And I couldn't tell if they were laughing at, at it for the same reason me and my friends was laughing at it. We were laughing because of how bad it was, how bad it was trying to be funny. Like, it was terrible. Like, this humor was terrible. Like, it was so funny at how bad it was. The dialogue was also lovable. They would say things and you would just laugh. Yo, check it out. Hot old guy's back. He's old enough to be your dad. I'd fuck your dad so hard if that was your dad. That's a good thing. And some people were so, would laugh in the theater, so I was like, are they laughing at the same reason me and my homeboys and homegirls are laughing? Or are they laughing because they genuinely think it's funny? And my homeboy, one of my homeboys pointed out that he legit thinks they're laughing at the movie because they thought it was funny, what they person said. And I was like, bro, that shit was ass. That's what we're laughing. He was like, I know. So yeah, this movie is cursed. It's, it's hilarious without trying to be hilarious. Well, the hilarious scenes are hilarious. Aren't, are not hilarious, excuse me. And the scenes that aren't supposed to be hilarious are hilarious to me. Yeah. Well, to us it was at least. Like, this movie is fucking cursed. That's the effects of it in this movie. This, I would actually watch this movie again. Would I pay for it? No. But would I watch it to laugh at it again? Yes, because there's, there's so many funny, funny scenes in this money that I don't, in the, not in this money, this movie. That is hilarious. As you can see, I'm very hype about this movie because it's hilarious. Like, there are so many scenes that aren't supposed to be funny that are funny. It's just the things they say and do. It's like, what the fuck? And uh, some of these characters don't feel human. It felt like people pretending to be human. It was like, are these aliens trying to act like humans? Like, who does this? Like, it was just things that, in this movie that was like, why is this here? Something, okay. <laughs> okay, let me stop right there. <laughs> Cause I just feel like I'm bashing on the movie, and I don't want to be one of those people that just make negative reviews or whatever. But um, so the movie did have some good things, but like I say, it never goes nowhere with those good things. For every two steps forward that it took, it took like a clean 50 back. Like the movie legit would say, "Fuck it," it take 50 steps back. It was like, oh man, like it was some sense. It was like, damn, okay. The first 15 minutes of the movie was ass, but okay, I'm getting I'm getting sucked in now, and it's like, oh, never mind. Uh, actually, that's how it was for the intro scene. I was like, okay, there, she's, the movie starts with her giving head to someone that, I mean, that, I mean, I mean, they might take her somewhere. And then it was like, no. I mean, she got paid for it, and that was it. And it was like, hey, you're busted, loser. <laughs> Nerd. And I was like, oh, okay. This got terrible. Then a bit more. It's like, okay, they're, they're going somewhere. This is pretty. No, it's terrible again. Uh, oh, man, that was a good scene. That was well acted by the by the father. That, that was, that, okay, I, I see where you're coming from. Then, nope. It's ruined again. Like everything in this movie is like that. Then it gets it from the point, and it got it stops having the substance down, so it's just going down. But at the same time, it's going down, it's going up because of how funny it is. Like you guys need to see this movie. It's fucking hell. <laughs> it's, it's fucking hilarious. Like this. Okay, this is one scene that actually made me and my friends burst out laughing. Well, there's multiple scenes, but this is like this is early on in the movie, so I can say I guess it was one of the first. But uh. <laughs> So they're arguing, I guess they're arguing with the cop character, I can't remember. But they're just do they're doing a little back and forth thing like this, that, like, huh, you're a loser, well, you're a scumbag, this and that kind of thing. And, like, one of her friends legit has the worst comeback I've ever heard her. Like, it just gets quiet, it's like dot, 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 ellipses. <laughs> yeah, you dot, 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 man. Like, was that supposed to be funny? Like, he is a man. Is that supposed to be funny? What was the joke there? And some people behind us just started laughing. And I was like, bruh, I, that shit was terrible. And them laughing made me laugh because I was like, bruh, that shit was so ass. Why are you guys laughing? And me and my friends were like, what the fuck is this fucking film? I'm going to stop talking about the movie now. 
please go watch this movie. It's cursed. It's funny. It's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. I don't like it. This movie also, I forgot about this. This movie has some weird incest vibes going on, not just between the mom, the uh, daughter and the step brother, but the mom, the mom and the daughter, the main character, uh, Erica. And he has nice eyes. She say something nice about somebody? Shh, don't tell anyone. And I'm gonna scream it to the neighbors. Like them two have some weird sexual tension. It was really fucking weird and odd and kind of uncomfortable. Like watching it made me. It was like, what the fuck? Should I be seeing this? Like, are they related or not? Are they lesbians? Is, is this? She is a child. She is 17. You are a grown woman and her mom. What the hell is going on in this movie? Please watch this movie. Please go watch Flower. It was directed by uh, by Max Winkler, and uh, it was it was directed by Max Winkler and also written by him and Alex McCauley, Mc, Mc, and Matt Spicer. I don't know those names. That Alex does sound familiar, but I'm not. I am not sure. But please, please go, please go watch this movie. It's cursed. I don't know how many times I can say that. But this movie is fucking cursed. I'm going through their uh, IMDb pages right now. They directed nothing I know. Matt Spicer actually directed Ingrid Goes West. A pretty decent film if I must say so. So, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he wrote and directed Ingrid Goes West. But I guess when it came to Flower, he said fuck it. Man, that's it for me, guys. This is Josh. I I'm out. Please, please go watch Flower. And if you have seen it, please comment below and tell me what you think. And, and if you do see it, please come back and let me know, because this movie needs to be seen. Uh, all right, I'm out, guys. See you later. Like, comment, you know all that. Yeah, all right, I'm out. I'm going for real this time. Fuck it. So, Erica says this is, like, your ex-boyfriend or something? Is it serious? Yeah. Did you, like, go all the way, or did you just make out and stuff? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? He isn't some science project for you to analyze. He's a human being. Did you say being or being? Enough. Surfing sensation. He is now a subversive hobo on the outskirts and beaches and all known hollow earth suns. Inspired by the Beatniks, a small but conspicuous group of young adults in the big cities who dabbled in marijuana, wrote poetry, and won scores of imitators in high schools all over the country. Cellophane wrapped in the black nightmare of the endless factory, my soul squeezed in the hydraulic press of eternal drip, drip.